Good day everyone. So in this video lesson, we will discuss about simple annuity. So pag sinabi nating annuity class, so ito yung payment na hindi isahan lang, yung isang bagsakan lang ng pagbabayad. So ito yung tinatawag nating installment. Halimbawa, kumuha ka ng appliances, so ang pagbabayad mo is indifferent uh, payment interval. Like for example, or payment uh, interval period. So, for example, halimbawa, kinuha mo, buwanan ka magbabayad. So, ibig sabihin, uh, monthly, no, ang pagbabayad mo. Or, pwede rin naman, through, ba, apat na beses sa isang taon. So, you can pay it by quarterly. So, but ang focus natin ngayon, it's about simple annuity. Okay? So, yun ang ibig sabihin ng annuity. Maraming application, no? maraming application ng topic na to. Kasi kapag narinig nyo, halimbawa, kung nag-loan ka, for example, ng car, no? Yan, yung mga appliances, yan ang madalas na, ano natin, madalas na naririnig natin. And then, housing loan, no? Pwede rin yun. So, ito yung pagbabayad in different payment of, ah, uh, different payment of interval. So, nakadepende. So, our objectives is to illustrate simple and general annuities, distinguish between simple and general annuities, find the future and present values of simple annuities, and compute the periodic payment of simple annuities. So, when say uh, periodic payment, so yan yung amount na uh, ibabayad natin. So, we're going to... Uh, Illustrate simple and general annuities. If that is according to payment interval and interest period, simple annuity, this is an annuity where the payment interval is the same as the interest period. So, ang simple annuity daw, dapat yung payment interval ay equal sa interest period. Halimbawa, kapag ang pagbabayad mo, kapag ang pagbabayad mo is by monthly so dapat yung interest period niyan ay compounded monthly so they are equal dapat so kung ang payment interval mo ay quarterly so dapat yung interest period mo ay compounded quarterly in general annuity so this annuity where the payment interval is not the same as the interest period so hindi sila same Pag according to time payment naman, time of payment, so pag sinabi natin ordinary annuity or that is the annuity immediate, this is a type of annuity in which the payment are made at the end of each payment interval. And then, pag sinabi naman natin annuity due, a type of annuity in which the payment are made at the beginning of each payment interval. Pag according to duration, Annuity certain is an annuity in this payment begin at end of definite times. At pag sinabi naman natin contingent annuity, an annuity in which the payment extend over an indefinite or indeterminate length of time. Also, we need to familiarize some of definition of terms na ma-encounter natin sa video lesson na to or sa topic na to. First, the term of an annuity, uh, denoted as small letter T, that is time between the first payment interval and the last payment interval. Regular or periodic payment, denoted as capital letter R, so the amount of each payment. Amount or the future value of annuity, denoted as capital letter F, that is the sum of future values, of all the payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity. Present value of an annuity or denoted as small, uh, capital letter P, that is the sum of present value of all the payments to be made during the entire term of the annuity. So, what are those formula na gagamitin natin you know, in this uh, video lesson, in this topic? First, to find the future value of simple ordinary annuity, that is R or the regular payment times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 over I. 
And pag kukunin naman natin yung present value of simple annuity, so regular payment times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus i raised to negative n over i. Where? Your i, that is r over m. So yung r natin, that is the interest rate. At yung m natin, that is the frequency of conversion. No? And then, pag R, that is the regular payment, I, that is the interest rate per period. So, paano natin kunin yung I? That is rate, the interest rate over the uh, frequency of conversion. So, N is the total number of payments. So, paano kinukuha yung N? That is M times T. R is the nominal rate. Okay, or yes, this is the interest rate. And M is the number of conversion periods. Pag kukunin naman natin yung periodic payment, depende kapag ang given ay uh, nandun yung future value. So, ang gagamitin natin to compute the regular payment or the periodic payment is F over uh, the quantity of 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 over I. Pero kapag given naman yung present value, ito naman yung formula niya. P over 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus i raised to negative n over i. And then, okay, so let's try. Determine if the given situation represents simple annuity or general annuity. Letter A. Payments are made at the end of each month for a loan that charges 1.05 interest compounded quarterly. Letter B. A deposit of 5,500 pesos was made at the end of every three months to an account that earned 5.6% interest compounded quarterly. So, sa letter A, so ang titignan natin dyan yung payment interval sa kayong interest period. So, yung payment interval natin dito sa letter A is every month. Pero yung interest period natin is quarterly. Therefore, Hindi sila pareho. So, what kind of uh, the situation represent as general annuity because they are not equal. Pero sa letter B, so ano yung payment of interval natin sa letter B? So, sa letter B, every 3 months. So, every 3 months. So, ibig sabihin that is quarterly. And then, the interest period is compounded quarterly. So, equal sila. Equal yung per... Uh, payment interval sa kayong interest period natin. So, therefore, uh, that is, this uh, situation no, is an example of simple annuity. Okay? Tandaan natin kapag simple annuity daw, pag sinabing simple annuity equal yung payment interval and the interest period. Another, determine whether the situation describe an ordinary annuity or an annuity due. Letter A, June's monthly mortgage payment is 35,148.05 at the end of each month. Okay, so letter B, the rent of apartment is 7,000 pesos and due at the beginning of each month. So sa letter A, what do you think? So ang payment niya is at the end of each month. So, therefore, the answer is ordinary annuity. So, sa letter B naman, yung payment niya is due at the beginning. So, due at the beginning. So, therefore, that is an example of annuity due. Okay? So, next. Example number 3. Suppose, Mrs. Remoto would like to save 3000 every month in a fund that gives 9% compounded monthly. How much is the amount of the future value of her savings after 6 months? So first, we need to uh, identify the given. So tingnan natin ha. So yung payment of interval niya is every month and then yung interest period niya is compounded monthly. So they are equal. So this situation illustrates that this is an example of simple annuity. Okay, so ano yung mga given natin? So, yung re regular payment na ni Mrs. Remoto is 3,000. And then, the interest rate is 9% or that is 0.09. And the term 
or the time that is 6 month or that is 1 half years, no? Or 0 0.5 years. And then, uh, the frequency of conversion since that is compounded monthly, so therefore, yung M natin is 12. Yung N natin, that is M times T or uh, the frequency of conversion times term. So, since we have 12, 6 month is equivalent to 1 half years. Tama? So, i-convert nyo ito in a year. 6 month, uh, divide 12 lang yan, no? Pag kinonvert into year. So, 12 times 1 half, since yung T natin is 1 half, that is 6. So, yung N natin is 6. And then, yung I natin, that is R over M, 0 0.09 divide 12, the answer is 0 0.0075. Okay? So, after getting all the given values, kunin natin yung so yung future value yung hinahanap dito. What is the amount of, how much is the amount of the future value? So, what is the formula kapag hanapin niyo yung future value? So, regular payment plus 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 over i. So, what you're going to do is uh, you need a scientific calculator or a calculator para makuha natin ito. Okay? Ang hirap i-compute to manually. So, that will become 3,000 times 1 plus 0 0.0075 raised to 6 minus 1. Okay? So, ang ginawa natin, pinalit natin yung mga given natin dun sa formulas natin. So, si over 0 0.0075 so and that is using your scientific calculator the answer is 18,340.89 okay so using the calculator so paano gagamitin using the calculator okay so using the calculator diba using the calculator so paano natin i uh, input lo, lahat so first Lagay nyo muna yung fraction bar and then click nyo itong left arrow na to and type nyo yung 3000 and then punta doon open parenthesis lagay mo 1.0075 close parenthesis and then yung pang exponent that is 6 and then next tayo baba mo yan, next, minus 1, and then sa baba, type mo yung 0 0.0075, and then equals. So, the answer is 18,340.89. So, you can use your scientific calculator, no, para masagutan. Okay, next. In order to save for her high school graduation, Marie decided to save 200 pesos at the end of each month. If the bank pays 0.25% compounded monthly, how much will her money be at end of 6 years? So, tingnan natin kung simple annuity ba siya. So, high school graduation. So, each month yung payment interval. So, and then compounded monthly. So, they are equal. So, this is uh, this situation is illustrate simple annuity. So, ano yung mga given natin? So, yung regular payment niya is 200 pesos and then yung interest rate is 0.25%. That will be 0 0.0025. So, i-convert na natin into decimal. And then, the term is 6 years and M is 12 since that is compounded monthly. And then, yung N natin, M times T or that is 12 times 6, that is uh, 72. Uh, total number of periods. And I, R over M, so that is 0 0.0025 divide 12. So, hindi ko na kinuha yung sagot nito kasi mahaba yung de, uh, sagot niya. So, hindi pwede nating i, ano lang, kunin lang yung dalawang decimal. So, as pag mga ganitong example class, yan, masyadong mahaba yung sagot niya. Tapos, masyadong ma yung decimal niya is non-repeating, no? Ibig sabihin, as is mo na lang na ganito yung sagot mo. Para hindi tayo magkamali. Hindi malayo makuha natin sagot. And then, using the formula, so hinahanap pa rin natin is future value. So, using the formula, isa-substitute lang natin all the given values sa formula natin. 200 times 1 plus, this is our i, 0 0.0025 over 12 raised to 72 minus 1 
all over 0 0.0025 over 12. So, you can uh, uh, check using your calculator. So, again, fraction bar muna. So, kapag kay class, you can use uh, ito. Mas maganda kasi yung FX 991EX ng cash, oh, the class twist. No? Kasi, mara kompleto na yung features niya dito. Lalo na kapag nag-start na, so magagamit nyo rin to. So kapag uh, may pera naman kayo, you can invest. Bumili kayo nito. Okay, so sa taas, that is, open parenthesis, lagay natin. That is 1 plus. Then may fraction tayo, pindot audit natin yung fraction. 0 0.0025 times over 12. And then, Okay, close parenthesis. Pindutin nyo yung fraction bar. Ano no? Ano pala? Close. And then fraction bar. Ay no, pang exponent pala. 72 minus 1. And then dito, lagay natin another fraction. That is 0 0.0025 over 12. And then, pindut lang nilang equals. So, the answer is 14,507.02. So, niround off na natin yung pangalawang decimal kasi yung kasunod niya is 9. Alright? So, proceed tayo sa next example. Okay. Rose works very hard because she wants to have enough money in her retirement account when she reach the age 60. So, she wants to withdraw 36,000 every 3 months for 20 years starting 3 months after she retires. How much rose deposit at retirement at 12% per year compounded quarterly for the annuity? So, analyze natin yung problem. So, kung gusto niya daw mag-withdraw ng 36,000 every month. So, ibig sabihin that 36,000 is the future value or the future amount. Right? So, so yung regular payment is 36,000, no? And then, ang rate natin dito is 0 0.12 and this 20 years. Okay? Again, ang hinahanap natin dito is future value, right? So, and then, ang given natin is 36,000. And then, N is 80 or M times T that is 80. And yung I natin is 0 0.12 Y that's 12% converted na into decimal. So, 0 0.12 divide 4. Sundan nyo lang yung formula class, okay? Kaya importante na ma-identify nyo yung mga ginagamit natin, no? Ng mga variable for your formulas. The answer is 0 0.03. Okay, since ang hinahanap natin dito ay present value, kasi nga, uh, magkano daw yung i-deposit niya, no? Na every 3 months, anong mag makakuha siya ng or every 3 months yung regular payment is 36,000 so therefore ang hinahanap natin is present value using the formula so that is 36,000 times 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to negative 80 over 0 0.03 and the answer is 1,087,000 and 227,000 0.48 Okay, so ito yung kailangan niya pera, no? Ito yung present value niya na kailangan na makapag, ano siya, makapag withdraw siya ng 36,000 every month for 20 years. So, paano gawin natin yan? Check using the calculator. So, that is 36,000 and then ilagay mo muna 1 minus, tapos open parenthesis, 1.03 and raise to negative 80 and then sa baba, that is divided by 0 0.03 so the answer is ay, okay, but okay so, wrong, so ulitin natin naklik ko kaagad yung AC so, that is 36,000, the regular payment, that is 1 minus 1.03 
itong raise to pag itong pa exponent natin that is negative 80 all over 0 0.03 so equals that is 1,087,200.48 correct okay so that is for uh, example number 5 and for uh, another example the cash value or the cash price of a purchase is equal to the down payment if there's any or plus the present value of the installment payment so pag kinukuha natin pag pinapahanap class sa problem yung cash value or the cash price so ang gagawin lang natin down payment plus the present value so paano gawin yan for example, Mr. Rebaya paid 200000 as down payment for a car. The remaining amount is to be settled by paying 16200 at the end of each month for 5 years. So, if interest is 10.5% compounded monthly, what is the cost price of his car? So, ibig sabihin class, uh, may naunang bayad niya na 200000 pesos. And then, yung remaining payment, babayaran niya sa loob ng limang taon for 16,200 every month. Okay. So ang hahanapin natin dito is the cash price. So magkano ta ang halaga ng car? Okay, so da may down payment tayo 200,000. Regular payment is 6,200. The interest rate 0 0.105 since that is 10.5% convert into decimal and the term is 5 years. And the frequency of conversion is 12 since monthly. And N, M times T, that is 12 times 5 is equal to 60. So, yung I natin dito is R over M or 0 0.105 divided 12. And that is equal to 0 0.00875. Okay. So, anong hinahanap natin? The cash price. So, bago natin makuha yung cash price, kailangan muna natin kunin yung present value. Okay, kasi para makuha natin yung cash price, that is the down payment plus the present value. So, yung present value muna ang kailangan natin kunin. So, using the formula, substitute all the given values. 16,200 times 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.00875 raised to negative 60 over 0 0.00875. And the answer is 753,000. 702.20 So, yan yung present value So, makukuha natin yan ang cash value or the cash price that is down payment plus the present value So, meron tayong down payment na 200,000 plus the present value So, magkano yung cash price ng car? The cash price or the cash value is 953,702.20 Alright So, uh, using the calculator, check natin yung present value natin kung tama. 16,200. Okay, fraction bar muna. Kasi class, kapag inunan yung type yan, pag tapos pumindot ka nito, magiging fraction siya. So, mas maganda, pindot, click nyo muna yung fraction bar. So, that is, and then, bag sa kailagay yung 16,200. That is 1 minus... 1.00875 close parenthesis tapos yung pang exponent natin that is negative 60 all over 0 0.00875 okay then equals lang equals so the answer is 70, uh, 753 700.20 na no? kasi round off na natin and then plus 200 plus 200,000 okay plus 200,000 the answer is 953,700.20 okay so mali now next for example number 7 Paulo borrowed 100,000 he agrees to pay the principal plus interest by paying an annual amount of money of an equal amount of money each year for 3 years what should be his annual payment if there is 8% compounded annually? So, highlight ko yung annual payment. Okay? What should be his annual payment? So, yung ibig sabihin, pag annual payment yung hinahanap, yung regular payment yung kailangan natin kunin. 
So, ano ba yung mga given dito? So, kung nanghiram si Paulo ng 100,000, that is the pres that is a present value. Okay? So, present value is 100,000. Ang interest rate natin is 8%, that is 0.08. The time is 3 years or the term compounded annually. Kaya yung M natin is 1. N is equal to M times T or 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And then yung interest rate period naman natin is R over M or 0.08 divide 1. The answer is 0.08. Since ang given natin is uh, present value, so we're going to use uh, re to find the regular payment na given yung present value. Okay, and that is R is equal to P over 1 minus 1 plus I minus a uh, raised to negative N over I. So, the answer, use your calculator. So, the answer will be 38,803.35. So, anong ibig sabihin niyan sa problem? So, every year, okay, so every year, meron ko siyang amount, the printing term pay equal amount of money. Okay, so every year, magbabayad siya ng 38,803.35 So, using your calculator, ito class, gamit yung calculator, maguguluhan si calculator dito. Kasi may another fraction ka dyan. So, paano gagawin? O, ito muna class. So, type mo muna 100,000 and then, sa baba, lagyan mo muna ng open and close parenthesis. And then, balik ka. And then, fraction ulit. Okay? Yun ang gawin nyo, class. Then, 1 minus okay, 1 minus 1.08 tapos close. Then, pang exponent natin, negative 3 over 0.08. So, the answer will be 3, uh, 38 380 Why? One ha Kulang siguro. Ah, okay. Kulang ako dito. So, wait. Ulitin ko. Kulang ako ng zero dun sa taas. Dapat 100,000. So, 10,000 lang. 100,000. So, the answer is 38,803.35. Again, please ha. Pag gagawa kayo, pag kukumpit nyo using scientific calculator, lagyan nyo ng open and close parenthesis sa baba. Kasi kung diretsyo na nakaganito, yun nilagay sa calculator, hindi niya makukompute. Maguguluhan siya. Okay? So, the regular payment again is 38,803.35. Next. Another example. Mr. Ribaya would like to save 500,000 pesos for his son college education. How much should be he deposit? So, magkano ang i-deposit niya every 6 months no? sa loob ng labing dalawang taon? na merong 1% compounded semi-annually. So, ibig sabihin, since ang tanong dyan is kung magkano yung i-deposit niya every 6 months, so regular payment yung hinahanap. And then, meron siya like to save 500,000 pesos. So, gusto niya mag-save ng 500,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, yun yung future value, yung future amount. no So, therefore, the given is the future value 500,000 pesos rate is 0.01 the term is 12 years and uh, the frequency of conversion is 2 so yung n natin m times 2 that is 2 times 12 so 24 no ibig sabihin 24 times mag ibig sabihin ng n natin na to 20, kung ilang beses no siya magbabayad so 24 times siya magbabayad ng uh, yun kung ano yung lalabas mame sa sagot natin So, I is R over M or 0.01 divide 2. The answer is 0.005. So, since ang given natin ay nandiyan yung future value at ang hinahanap natin is yung periodic payment o yung regular payment na tinatawag natin. So, therefore, ang gagamitin natin formula is F over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1 over I. So, you can substitute everything dun sa given values natin. And the answer is 19,660.31. Ibig sabihin plus 24 times na magbabayad si Mr. Rebaya ng 19,660.31 or every 6 months. So, 
Every 6 months, magbabayad si Mr. Ibaya ng 19,660.31 para magka-save siya ng 500,000 para sa kanyang anak. Alright? So, using the calculator, again, para masundan, so type muna yung nasa taas na 500,000. And then sa baba, bago ilagay yung fraction bar, lagyan muna na ng open and close parenthesis. And then, balik ka sa loob. Click mo yung fraction bar and then type mo yung 1.005. Okay. Then pang exponent natin, 1.005. So, so dapat nakalagay pala meron ka dapat ditong open parenthesis. 1.005. Then pang exponent natin, 24. And then down, minus 1. And then here is 0 0.005. So the answer is 19,660.31. So niround off na natin kasi uh, 5 na yung kasunod ng 0. So 31 na. Okay? So you can use your scientific calculator. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.